All right, so here we go. Moving into round number four between Sonneman and Imagine. It is two to one at the moment. Sonneman needs to win this to give themselves momentum. And if Imagine wins, they're only one away from their chance in a spot of the semifinals in Germany. Sonneman starting up in waste or cycling is going to move out in a four pack. The Marines, actually a five pack. The Marines down south. Big shock in Docking Bay. 212 or 2111. 111. Really quick gorge tunnel down into Bay Wing. And here comes, wow, Bitey and Riss taking down three aliens that come through there. They actually take them all out. All of them destroyed in trash ejection. Sonneman loses four skulks just a little less than 30 seconds into the start of this match. And here comes Risk and Bitey moving in to Bay Wing, being super aggressive right here. Here comes the pack. They're going to get cleaned up. They got the gorge there, which is going to easily heal this all back up. The biggest problem is, is the aggressive play by the Marines through oxygenation and pipeworks. They're actually capping the res in pipeworks to help delay as much as possible. Yeah, and I like this Lepidus move into X. He's backing off, taking down Nate. He goes down, and yeah, like you said, B1 there putting up the pipeworks RT. Um, you know, I've seen this a lot. If they can cut uh, Sonneman off here in Oxy, uh, I mean, it's a great play because you really cut that cis chain going from waste to pipe. Uh, and it's just, mm -hmm. it's just, it's really easy to kind of get boxed into your base on this map. B1 is totally going to corner the Gorge. He doesn't know what's happening, and he's going to go down. If he oh! can't get away, down goes Lipa. And that is a big problem because that means no extra Gorge tunnel. So there's no Beautiful. enforcement point from Bay. And now they're going to clear up the infestation and oxygenation. Well played by Sonneman, though. They are on the res. Repairs. Down here at Supply Lines, they are doing what they need to do that they did not do the last time, which is clear, 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 clear. And because of the aggressive push-up by Imagine, they're able to go back here to uh, Electrical Core and potentially even up at um, uh, Pipeworks to eliminate that as well. Valtu, Llama coming in through here to Oxy as B1 and that other Marine were cleaning up the cyst. They had, they did put up the RT to kind of uh, slow down the expansion there from Sonneman, which is great. B1 outside watching this RT go down. We got Onzor in Baywing moving in now, taking a couple pot shots at the whip there. Uh, those three skulks take out the one there in Oxy and move down into gravity. Yeah, and they need to keep this momentum going. They lost electrical core. I mean, they got close to taking it down 9% before, uh, I believe it was Tane went down there. Now they've got the Skulks packed up again. They're going to go and hit repairs, which isn't even built. So uh -oh. they're going to take it uh -oh. straight to Marine. Start. Take it. Take it. Oh, no. He's Here they come. Spinning. He's just spotting. This is what Bones I was are. saying. One this is what I was saying. Goes. And there's nobody nearby. And there's one guy coming back from gravity. They're going to lose at least one IP. Oh, Three no. Tane waiting to get the drop. Second IP is going to go down. Oh, and Tane got the drop. Risk, risk, risk is still alive. Ball to Tane get the drop on risk. There is only two in. Marines alive, the commander and Bitey. And this could be it. The rest of the Skulks are making their way. Bitey wins the engagement against Tane right there. And now the IP is being built as quickly as possible. I'd actually take this opportunity to go right for the res. Kill all the res on the north side of the map. Do as much damage as you can because it's going to put these guys on a major back foot. Yeah, because right now it's going to take... All the Marines are going to try to defend the base right now. They know it. And right now they could have taken out all of the... All, all of them. They could have taken down Organ. They could have taken yeah, down and Repairs. Now, and now they're running in one by one. And it's just like, why are you not killing the res? They're yeah. getting all this income now to be able to rebuild this stuff. And I think that was a big mistake by Sonneman. And I think they realize it now. Because you can see them moving out in the north as quickly as they can. Now two IPs have been rebuilt here. And these Marines are back out on the field. Imagine still having four extractors uh, with two blueprints out. Sonneman at two harvesters with one being grown right now. Llama and Lipa working on the organ donation one. B1 coming around the corner with Lepidus. <laughs> the two of them there, they got the box to block for even a couple more seconds. You know, it wasn't even built. So they end up going after that extractor that wasn't even built there. Maybe, you know, now there's infestation up in Pipeworks, but they've still got the extractor going to deny that extra RT. 
This was a great recovery from Imagine. They rebuilt that, and they are still they still have a strong economy. They have their IPs back up, and they are back out on the field. And now with Mines, they're going to be able to protect themselves against a rush like that again, for the most part. Not to say that it can't still happen. They clean up here in Pipeworks. They got to eliminate this RT right away. And at this point, they really need to double play it. I mean, they need to be both skulks on the on the extractor to just move forward. Buddy dropping mines around the base uh, in docking. We got Onzor here in trash ejection moving back. Uh, Nate is out as that lurk. Risk eliminating infestation and oxygenation. They have eliminated the RT there, taking down Risk right away as Vault Sue. But there's still, you know, too much res going. I, man, oh, I think they're going to regret not going after that res after the base rush. I mean, if your base rush doesn't work, you got to the, the uh, in my opinion, from what I've seen played, the best response is always go after the res. Yeah. I, and honestly, quite honestly, they had they had a uh, on the north end of docking bay during that rush. They had a Marine coming around the corner. They just took down the two RPs. There was three of them. I think they could have gotten behind the command center, you know, with uh, with Enzyme, and they could have done some re a lot of damage. They definitely would have forced um, uh, the commander out of there, uh, and maybe it would have been a little bit different. But Valtu and Tain now here in Gravity taking down the RT. Owns are coming around the corner trying to stop that from happening. We also see B1 here in Pipeworks getting killed. Yeah, and... I mean, they're doing a good job. Where are we at? We're at eight, eight extractors down at six and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. A lot I mean, better than their last game. Right. And Sonic can keep this momentum going. They've got the RT building now over here in Pipeworks. They are still in a good position to take this game back. They've delayed upgrades. They caused them to spend 40 res on IPs. You know, I mean, they've just got to be able to react to this quickly. Lepidus and Omzor coming here into Oxy. Vault, Sue, and Nate trying to push them back. Weapons 1 has started. Armor 1's already out. Imagine at 5 extractors versus 4 harvesters. Uh, Imagine needs to do something about that res flow if they're going to try to get the upper hand here in the economy. They need to push them down to at least 3. Probably take down Bay Wing. Definitely take down Pipeworks if they can. But they are getting swarmed right now, those two Marines. Sonnen winning engagements, but at the loss of one or two Skulks and each of them not a good situation to be in, but they're still winning. So that's important. You know, they're able to reestablish that cis chain up in the north and just keep working. Pressure by Tane on the RTs. I think they know that they didn't pressure the RTs nearly enough in that last game that they played. Yeah, which gave Imagine the time uh, or the resources uh, to recover so quickly. Uh, shotguns now coming out on the field. Well, weapons 1 about to be done as well. So weapons 1, armor 1, shotguns. Uh, Marines are going to be out pretty soon. All of them can grab one. Fades are coming out right now. 40 res. The fades are coming, but they just lost the harvester and oxygenation. They need to reestablish that quickly to get the uh, potential Onos ready to rock and roll. Valtsu did go down as, I believe, the other lurk. So it is just Nate. No, he couldn't have. Oh, he was Gorge. Yeah. Right? Uh, well, he, he def I don't think he could have. He's um, he was at 40. He just grabbed his uh, his fade, uh, and there go Tains as a fade as well. I think they only went a single. Uh, they only went single lurk. Robotics factory being dropped down in docking bay. That's a long way for Arcs to travel, but it's better chance of potentially be not being spotted. Look at this. this is great. Onzor and B1 here in Pipeworks taking down this harvester, dropping Sonaman down to two. Again, in this economy game, Imagine is doing so well. Six extractors versus just two harvesters for Sonaman. Sonaman reacting to that Pipeworks attack a little bit too late. Llama down here in repairs trying to take this down. Uh, if Imagine can hold this, uh, this economic lead, then they're putting themselves in a really great position to win this game. Yeah, the, the, the fades have to really be precise, and they have to be taking out these, especially these shotgunners now. They've got to work on them as much as they can, losing those shotguns, dropping the P-Res, putting the pressure on them, and holding the Marines back while they work on their res and work on their own upgrades. Two spurs down, third harvester here at uh, oh, Oxygenation. Base. And now they're back at Marine Start again. Fade, Skull, 
double Four fade. Them. And they're gonna beacon him back. Loses the one IP is a good thing. They gotta get out of that room and not lose any of those life forms. Almost lost Tane and Vaultsu, both black barred as they were getting out of there. That's gonna delay another upgrade, but there is a Mac in base, help of that Robo. So they know the Robo's there, they know to expect arcs, possibly sentries, but now they have a little bit more momentum to get on that res. Lipa here working on the organ donation. RT, we got Valtsu, Nate, and Llama coming through. Lepidus <laughs> catching him around the corner, almost taking Valtsu down as well with a couple shotgun blasts. He's going to back off into gravity. And another extractor going down for Imagine. They've lost 14 at the 10 and a half minute mark. Yeah, Sonaman still got the momentum here. They have to keep their res going. They have to get some more upgrades. They've definitely got to get that second hive going so they can get the life form upgrades because that's going to be really important, especially if they can keep this lurk alive. Umbra would make this a very crazy game. Mm -hmm. Baltu now uh, healing himself in waste recycling after that attack against Lepidus and Risk, who fall back. They are going to put some. And they're going to hit Oxy. this again. Oh my I don't goodness. know why they're going back to phase. Oh, and Imagine was ready for that one. Phase gate up now, up by electrical core. One IP. So they're only on one IP. They're not rebuilding that second IP because they want to pressure organ donation and pipeworks. They've cut off the cyst chain from oxygenation, and now they're going to work straight on that RT. But this is the fourth RT. So this is the moment where they should be grinding the gate, not worrying about the RT. Here comes Sonaman reaction here to Risk and Lepidus. They cleared both shotguns, but they got to get down to this gate. They've got to clear this gate. And they're moving in. Here we go. This Four is a big play. The if they take this gate down, this is going to be big for them. And down it goes. Nobody's going to be able to get through that. It's a feed all the way. They Did they lose a harvester? They didn't lose the harvester. Reestablished the cyst chain. Lipa oh. is working on RT up here. Tain, Vault suit gets away from that. <laughs> Tain, where did Tain go? Tain hiding in the vents gets away. They're back in electrical core skylights again, dropping that uh, phase gate. This is now biomass three is up. I like how Imagine is trying to slow down their expansion uh, into pipeworks to drop that hive. Here comes another phase gate here in Skylights, and they're going to put more pressure here on organ donation and pipeworks. Attack here in gravity. Valtu and Nate up against Bitey. Bitey's going to get stabbed through the heart there, and these guys are going to move forward north um, and try to help this attack here in organ donation. Oh, that was unfortunate in organ donation. He moved the whip behind the RT, which meant when it threw the bile bomb again, it couldn't get past the RT. And it would have been close to taking that power out. Nate working on Owns are up here, but the two fades over in Trash Ejection going after B1. P res is important. They've got a lot of it, but if they keep losing these shotguns, it's going to disappear really fast. Now they're working on repairs, taking that down. Llama's working on the RT here in Gravity. He can take it out if he just focuses. Down it goes, and Organ is going to go down as well. Great play there by Imagine. They need to start recapping, though. They need to grab... Uh, repair is back, get them back up to four, try to grab uh, gravity, but they're getting swarmed over there. You have one single arc moving through offload and moving north. That's probably going to get scouted out by Lipa. Yep, right around the corner. <laughs> Absolutely. And if he can stop it from getting up there, it's a really good play. Unfortunately, Biting Risk are going to come through that phase gate. They're going to focus on Lipa. Can Valtsu get the good hit on him? No. Valtsu ends up going up to Pipeworks. Again, when you're on four RTs as Alien, that's great. You can sack an RT for a second to get the bigger play of stopping the reinforced Marines. Onzor and Lepidus getting killed there in Pipeworks. Great defense play there by Sonaman. We also see that that Skulk was pushed off that Ark, who's hiding in the corners. Valtsu and Nate taking down Bitey around the corner. Lepidus and Risk now coming into organ donation. Double IPs back in base, and Llama has enough to go Onos. Lipa, not far behind at 48, and with four active harvesters, will not take him very much time at all. 
They've got to go for the second hive at this point. They really need to get a second hive up. Yeah, and this is great. Imagine knows that, and they keep pressuring Pipeworks right now. If they concede Pipeworks and allow Sonoman to build a hive in here, then that's just going to make it that much harder for them to come back. B1 taking down Lipa here in repairs, just saving that uh, that RT at 17%. And there we go, that Arc here in organ donation is working on the Oxy Harvester. Uh, because of that phase gate, they can just protect that arc so well. And sure enough, yeah, it's going to take out that Harvester. Lama coming around as Onos now. He's going to make his way over here to organ donation. Lipa now at 51 P res, getting closer and closer by the second, oh. putting down the armory and block. they heard it, yep. They heard that uh, get scan down. Lama they got to be on the rest of the rest. You got three guys out of place. You should be hitting pub. You should be hitting electrical core. You should be hitting gravity. You should be hitting repairs. You can go one on one with these guys with a fade. Up oh, here comes Lama. Here comes the move up against offload. Lepidus gets killed. Onzor and Risk. Onzor taking down Lipa. Four aliens there. They're gonna have to back off a bit. They're gonna go and hit that arc. They know that the Marines aren't gonna feel confident about pushing. Down goes the Sentry battery, and Sentry is coming down. They want to protect this phase gate. There should be a skulk on the other side of the map. Instead, it's one Marine going after upgrades and waste recycling. Yep, B1 doing his best in there. Go hit Rez! <laughs> Onzor, Lepidus, and Risk move back into organ donation. And we're seeing now Valtsu here in gravity, watching Bitey move by. He's backed up by now by Tane. Bitey is going to get sandwiched between two fades right now, only with an LMG as he gets killed. And these guys move on the left side of gravity. They get scanned down. It looks like they're going to try to go for repairs. I mean, I honestly think you put the hive in gravity right now and just keep someone nearby. You got to drop it. I mean, you need yeah, you're gonna be you out need upgrades. Yeah. yeah. You, you get Umbra up, and that Onos, you just roll through and just crush these guys. And they know it. They know the whole team is in gravity right now, so they're just going to walk right into Pipeworks and take down all your defenses. Now they're coming in from behind. Llama, uh -oh. Nate, Valtsu. That's a nice little cute right play. Now they didn't really take any damage off him. They're going to take the space gate. That was great timing. I mean, that was great play. They came right from behind here. They're going to try to pump a lot of bullets in the Llama right now. Let's see if they can actually catch him. Llama down halfway. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. Oh. And they've cleared that. Now they're trying to get a phase gate and organ donation. That's almost even better place because of the armory block. They've taken out Rez on the right side of the map. Gravity, gravity, gravity. Drop the freaking hive in gravity. <laughs> You've got to get a hive up. Yeah, they do. Uh, I am owns or risk. I mean, the phase gate has been relocated after it blew up there. Um, in Skylight, it's relocated into Organ, which is going to continue to put a lot of pressure here on Pipeworks so they can't. And there we go. Sis moving into gravity. You may get your wish here, Wasabi. They may drop it there pretty soon. I mean, the Marines focusing all that tech up over there. One Skulk should be down at Pub right now. And here they go, they're going for a base move, but the Onos is going to get triggered right away. Tane, Lipa, Vaults, Llama, Nate, all of them in here! The beacon goes down, gets out right away. Onos takes a little bit of damage, but pulls them back. I don't know that that was the right uh, play. I yeah. worked on Hub and Electrical Core. You've got them blocked up in organ donation. Take advantage of the fact that you can eliminate their res. Wow, and they are back the out on the up field. <laughs> He's getting almost <laughs> upgrades, but they don't have... Uh, I'm... Okay. Well, right. Llama is now here in Gravity. We do see that Lepidus is here in Pipeworks fighting Nate. Uh, we see Llama moving back up through X. There's more arcs just being so annoying against that Oxy Harvester. We do have another Onos on the field, and that's going to be Lipa joining Llama. Uh, they got to stick to Oregon. Yeah, it, it, they got to just roll this down. If they can do this right now, this is the timing. Go now. And Go. Sonoman's it. taking advantage of it. Go. Get on this gate. Milk this freaking thing down. Take out the arc. God. 
All right, now they're in a good position. Phase gate here in gravity, not a great spot in gravity. Um, I mean, it gives them access to the entryway right here, but it's still, it's not a very strong position based on what the aliens are holding. Now they're recapping res, and because the aliens hadn't eliminated pub, you know, supply lines and uh, electrical core, that's going to be a tough situation for Sonoman because they've got to take that down. These Onos need to go back. Go back. Come on, guys. Go the right way. Risk, Lepidus, and Onzor here in Skylights moving up, putting up an armory wall here in Organ Nation. They got a phase gate here in Gravity, holding that up as well. Still on a single hive here for Sonoman. They have to drop Pipeworks pretty soon. They have a whip up there. It looks like those Onai are going to try to defend there. Now you got a triple phase gate going on with gravity. I, I, just, I just don't see counters for these Onai, though. You know, they got armor two, weapons one, shotguns, but, you know, they still need to get an advanced armory. They still need to get a prototype lab and the research for jets to get the proper counter for these guys. I mean, they could still uh, get without, caught without jets, but. Without biomass uh, five. And Lypha! Lypha's gonna go down! Oh! Focus on Lipa! Oh, he is so lucky. Wow. So lucky. Llama's got to get out of there. Llama's just got to go. Llama's Nate? just got to get out. Lurk down. down. Lurk is down, but he's got enough to go. Uh, he's got way more than enough. He's actually got enough to go Onos himself in just a couple ticks. I'd almost, you know, just say, screw it. Take three Onos into base and just melt the chair. Well, they don't have any. They don't I mean, have the, the proper counter for it. Yeah, they don't have the proper counter for, for an Onos right now. And, uh, you know, they only have weapons one. So if you took three Onai in there, I mean, really, that's a lot of hit points to go through with just weapons one, even with shotguns. And your end, you can't fly around. <laughs> yeah, this is the chance where they need to eliminate the phase gate here at Gravity. The Marines are already coming back. They're not enough to defend. One by one through the gate is not going to be good. They're going to get melted. And now they need to focus on that res, get that third Onos up, and then just end this game and take it back and even this series out. Well, here they go. They're completely running through gravity right now. Uh, weapons 2 research has been has been started. Nate at 59. When he respawns, he will be at the 60 mark. That could be what they're waiting for. Lipa oh, might get caught. You cannot lose right now. Do not engage. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he's about to get cut off. Oh, wow. Now you got pressure over here. Two fades. Tain and Vaultsy working nice, on the fuse gate there. And this is bad. Bad, I am. They've got to finish that gate. Finish the gate. Swipe the gate. You're just fighting the top. Swipe, swipe, swipe. All right, gates down. I am is in a really tough position right now. Still on five extractors, which is good, but without that phase gate pressure and these aliens up to now, uh, let's see, Nate's at 62, potentially a third Ono's coming in. You are in, you know, really a tough spot. moving over to the supply line. And Lipa, 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 Lipa. Thank God for the extra Onos there. Nice cleanup there in offload. They're going to take down that arc quite nicely. Bitey here in gravity trying to repair the power. Cat packs now have started. Uh, this Things are looking really bad for Imagine right now as the game has seriously turned. Nate sitting on 63 P res. Can bring out another Onos if he wants to. There is infestation all over this map right now. Lipa down to 42% here in offload. Taking down yet another RT from Imagine as Risk, Onzor, and B1 move into Skylights. And yeah, they're going to take down Electrical Core because they're more... In 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 enthralled with getting that phase get up they're gonna lose electric core these guys need to go straight down the supply lines which is what they're gonna do now they're getting on it now they're realizing if we take out this res they can't keep reinforcing this the cat packs are only gonna work so well and if he doesn't have a lot of money he can't drop the cat packs mm -hmm. well and, and their economy is getting destroyed right now while Sonaman's up to five harvesters and two growing 24 uh extractors lost for imagine and that we're at the 24 minute mark so perfect um, and in terms of, oh, oh! Baltsu goes down to the pistol just as he goes around the corner there. 
Yep. That's unfortunate. Both Onos making their way through Skylights. Gonna take down Onzer. He's down. I think right so. now, Sonoman seems to... I mean, they're doing a good job around the map right now, but, I mean, if... They have to know that obviously Imagine doesn't have the good counters for this. Um, why they're not just, you know, ending this right now. Have Nate, I, I agree with you, have Nate go Onos. There's no right counter. Um, and scout and their they, base, see if they have a proto. They don't, so. They risk losing it. these Onos every single time that they engage like that, like they just did. B1, super shots on B1. B1 almost had the opportunity to do something there, but with the crag there, healed him enough. The third Onos has to come out. Nate cannot afford it. There we go. Nate's going with upgrade. I don't know where he's evolving. Back at Waste Recycling. Second Hive has finally been dropped at Pipeworks. Oh, and there, goes the there we go. Before so, the 3 yeah. I come out. This is what we said. Each team, it's going to come down to the Marine game, right? They, they cannot afford to lose it. Both teams have now lost the Marine round. We are completely back to where we started. Holy crap. That was a great play, great, powerful play there by Sonneman. Uh, again, showing why they are one of the top teams here in Natural Selection 2 competitive scene. Uh, great job to Sonneman. Again, imagine playing their hearts out, um, you know, but just not...